Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number five in the directory traversal module titled File Path Traversal Validation of Startup Path. All right, let's get started. This lab contains a file path traversal vulnerability in the display of product images. The application transmits the full file path via a request parameter and validates that the supplied path starts with the expected folder. To solve the lab, retrieve the contents of the etc passwd file. Okay, so the target goal over here is to exploit the path traversal vulnerability and retrieve the contents of the passwd file. Let's access the lab. And notice over here that this is the built-in browser in Burp, and so all my requests are already being intercepted in Burp. Now you'll see over here the application retrieves images from the server and displays them in the browser. And the request that is responsible for retrieving the images is this one over here, so we're going to send that to repeater. And then in repeater, we're going to click on send. And you'll see over here for the regular image 67.jpg, it's a 200 OK message and it retrieves the content of the image. So again, every time you see an, any place in the location where it's user supplied input that potentially retrieves files from the backend system, you should test it for path traversal vulnerabilities. You should also test it for vulnerabilities like remote file inclusion and local file inclusion. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is make note of the fact that it has the entire absolute path of the image. So that might be important. So let's just copy that before we remove it and put it in here and then see if it accepts any absolute path. So let's say etc pass wd hit send and it's missing the parameter file name, which is weird. So they don't have proper error management over there because I do have the parameter file name. Um, so my guess over here, it doesn't accept any absolute paths. It requires that the path start probably with this uh, specific folder or this specific path. So var dub 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 and then images. And so let's see if we could potentially exploit that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the path traversal sequence to get out of these three directories and then go to the root directory and then from there access the etc passwd file. Let's hit send and it works. All right, so it dumps the content of the passwd file and if we reload the page over here, you should see the message that says congratulations, you solved the exercise. All right, we do. So we successfully completed the exercise by exploiting the vulnerability manually. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.